Hey YouTube, so the nightmare begins. Today we're doing a uh, secondary clutch install on my clip car. This one here is ordered, so one's supposed to be for big blocks. The other clutch hasn't quite held up and pretty much come apart on me. So I'm going to see if I can get it out of there without dismantling the whole body. So get to the next step I'll bring it back okay we're back I got the bolt out it there's what's left of the clutch blew the ramps off and broke the spring so I said got the bolt out I'm gonna try applying the heat to get that off there I'll try to get it off before and never have any luck so we'll see how that goes I'm gonna try to apply heat down on the shaft I'm going to move this in and out, apply heat on both sides. Alright, I'm um, applying heat to the shaft now. Rotating okay, around, trying to even the heat out. Yep. So if this works, we'll do that. Well, the nightmare continues. I've completely cut and busted the rest of the clutch off there. All the aluminum, I still got the metal shaft. So I guess I'm going to take the angle grinder and cut through it the best I can and apply more heat and see if I can get it off her then. I'm about 40 minutes into this. Not fun. This is a 92 club car, by the way. High speed varying gears. Which is very easy to put in. Never be scared to attempt it. It's super, super easy. If you ever want to put the high speed gears in, can't see it. But uh, on the driver's side, pull the rear end out and just pull that side of the case off, and the gears are pretty easy. As long as you have a press. Got to press, everything will go smooth. Got to press the bearings back in when press bearings off. But other than that, wasn't too bad. But I guess I'll continue with this nightmare for now. Well, I think I've finally got it where it's going to break off here. Hopefully, I didn't damage the shaft too much. Well, looks like the only thing I got is the retaining clip holding on there from the ramps. Which I'm pleased. Well, I'm going to put this camera up so I can get that off. Well, apparently I'm running into another problem. I have a six inch lift on the back and this top plate right here is not allowing me to get the clutch in place without removing it. I think if I can get that out of the way, everything should be okay. I didn't cut into the shaft any, so it's a good thing. Um, if you score it, this piece here, I, this wasn't cut completely through. I thought I had, but I cut on both sides. And at the end where there's a little bit of a gap, I drove a chisel into it and it went ahead and split down at the bottom. Come right off after that. Let's take a look at it. And I don't know about your application, but I had to remove the exhaust off of mine because of the way I had my headers ran. Which, no biggie. Well, that sucked, but I got it all back together, I just gotta clean it off and there's the tires up. Clutch went on. 
I had to find a longer bolt, so if you do this, remember, you get a bolt much longer than the one that came on it. Exhaust is back on. It ain't pretty, but I'll you know, see if I can fire it up. It's been sitting for a while. Well, it's only been about six months, but it runs. So, uh, I'm gonna get off here and go take it for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> 